Morning everybody, welcome to the vlog. Um, um, excuse me, excuse finger, me, what, finger. what is Who's going on? This? You guys have got your own channel. Come oh on. no! Uh, just a little video mate. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Richard and Friend, um, they've got their own YouTube channel. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> we are floating uh, out there now, <laughs> so, I was going to say we're on the <clears throat> yeah. For any of you guys who don't know um, Richard and Friend, they've got their own YouTube channel, Floating Our Boat. I'll stick a link either there or there or down there, so get over and check that out. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Deborah. 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 <laughs> been graced with some real vloggers, and you can tell they're real vloggers. Let's give a pointy finger. He's got the proper camera, <laughs> the proper camera, <laughs> which is now, which is now on my shopping list. Pointy finger. Yeah. yeah so we're not actually um, on the boat this week. There. Let me get pointy finger. There's our little lodge that we're staying in. Um, games room, skate. Uh, park, yeah, so I'm staying at my daughter's, or well, we're staying at our daughter's this week and um, trying to put this video together um, on the fly. Hope you enjoyed what you just saw with um, Fran and Rich. There's a lot more of that coming up later on in the video. Um, I don't know where Deb is, so I don't know whether she'll appear in this one, but I'll see if I can get her in. Yeah, so in this little bit that you saw, we'd got um, moored up just across the Ponte Silti Aqueduct just to do an engine service. And from what you could see, that was absolutely bananas with the amount of boats coming across. But nice to see all the hire boats back in swing, so I bet the hire companies are glad for that. So what do you reckon to these aqueducts, Deborah? Um, well, this one isn't too bad because it's got a, a wide bit either side, so this isn't too bad. Yeah, this but is But the Ponty what's it? Um, but she done well. I did. While I was uh, <laughs> I using did. my drone. I did. Yeah. Well, that'll be the last one for a little while. Right, so the, the little bit of footage that you're going to see, we was in Ellesmere and I want to take the drone up so I'm using my uh, iPhone uh, on the control of the drone so I'm actually filming the um, shots around Ellesmere with an S, here we go, pointy finger, where's he gone, disappeared, eldest grandson with his vlogging rig in the background. Yeah, so I think he's uh, trying to learn from granddad but <laughs> there's a lot better people he could learn from. But yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, so I was filming going around Ellesmere with the GoPro. So the footage is not my normal standard, but still entertaining enough, I think. <laughs> well, we've only, we only left the boat three minutes ago and we managed to get lost. <laughs> yeah, oh. well, we didn't get lost, we took the long way. We did get lost. We did. I knew where I was going all the time. Ah, I can see water. Yeah, so assuming we're 
heading in the right direction. It's absolutely beautiful around yes. here, but um, Ellesmere, you can't actually walk all the way around the mere. Um, what was the other one? Coal... Coal mere. Coal mere. Black mere, you can't. Yeah, you, you've got the three mares, Black mere, Coal mere and Ellesmere. And I think the only one you can walk around is Coal mere. Yeah. Or Black mere. Coal mere. Coal mere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's very hot at the moment, so the... Uh, uh, the dappled shade is appreciated. Right, uh, just looking for a nice little place to sit down. I was put in charge of making a flask this morning, and uh, that's one of Deb's duties normally. So uh, we're just now going to find out whether it's actually drinkable or not. I very much doubt it. Watch this space. Yeah, hey ho, I tried. My intentions were good. <laughs> I found a nice little jetty to. Um, take the drone up from but very windy getting some high um, gust warnings so uh, brought it back down to land but hopefully I've got enough footage and we're now going to try that <laughs> cup of tea we mentioned earlier Like, I'm gonna say passable. I can't it's say that it's nice, but I can't say it's horrible no. either. So I'm not gonna be allowed to do this anymore. And just seen a very interesting sculpture over here. Oh, narrowboat sculpture. Play on words there, rose and gin. Excellent. There is a boat called Rose and Gin. Yeah. Rose and Gin. Yeah. On the, on the thing at the moment, um, there's a guy having a holiday on it. Yeah. Not on that one, he's not. No. <laughs> That's good though, isn't it? back to the boat. It looks like there's a trader's boat set up in front of us. Always interesting to see what they've got on there. Can 
malware. And I managed to get Debbie out of the house uh, with her new haircut. Yeah. yeah, third one in three years, very high maintenance. And uh, a big thank you to uh, this week's new patron. David Jones, yeah, thank, thank you, you so yeah, much. Yeah, very, very much. Um, that's gone towards this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah keep no, Debbie beautiful. Uh, kids, grandkids hard at work in the background, keeping fit. And yeah, big, big thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so that's Lake Mere that we're now going past. Another one that you can't actually walk all the way around. But apparently these moorings just here are, are beautiful when it's sunny. And today it's rainy. Yeah, so we're between bridge 50 and 51, just up from the winding hole, and on 48 hour moorings, and what fantastic moorings they are. Uh, on the 48 hour moorings, you can probably get, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine boats, and then either side of it, there's room for, on just the general moorings, uh, more boats. Yeah, but lovely wide towpath, you can see that there so we can get the chairs out and the dogs and um, that side of the hedge I was mowing the, the hay yesterday and um, that side all woodland and I'll take the drone up later get some footage there's a um, like caravan park in there yeah so we stayed here on the way down and now again on the way out Yeah. Photographic evidence. The time is 3 a.m. 3 a.m. and more and more drinks. Yeah. We, what are we? One for the one road. For the road. No. <laughs> we managed to escape. It's, it's they're, they're, but they're in hot pursuit. So we need we need to move quick. Yeah, it's uh, early hours. Oh, no pressure. I don't know where I am. Oh, there's the boat. Wow, what a night. Oh, what a night. Here we go, take three. If you enjoyed this little video, hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you want future notifications of any other videos we upload, hit the bell icon. And keep your comments coming. See you all next week. Yep. Bye.